Ah, uh, Danganronpa, why are you so good and yet so fucking annoying to record so much? Uh, I know why I've been procrastinating when it comes to the Danganronpa games, because I hate dealing with the post-production when it comes to actually, like, editing the video, because it takes for a fucking ever compared to every other game. Anyways, um, last time we left off, we had Kyo Kyoko, um, I believe, talk about a... Another member of the uh, party. Hold on, let me just get the timer out because I forgot to get the stopwatch. Sorry about that. And basically, yeah, that's definitely raising our suspicion, correct? Mukuro Usaba or something like that. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. That is his name. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Got it. So that's definitely information that, uh, Pretty much is critical. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we could face with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. Okay, so we know someone's getting murdered in this chapter. 100 Mile Dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, in the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall... Uh. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation, alright? So now they're here. I'm trying to remember everyone's voices here, sorry. Hey! You didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Jeez, how high is this horse of yours? Well? He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the Mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the Mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring right now. Just, just, you just sit there like a mushroom. Gotta start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? Uh, she didn't snap back at you. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. You have a nose for that, you can still eat things through there! Have you seen Ruby? She could eat a whole cookie inside that nose of hers! I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? She can't talk, remember? <sighs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? <sighs> I believe this is a small talk Byakuya warned us about, against. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Pressured by the obviously irritated Byakuya, we all started our exploration. Alright. Where are we going exactly? Wait a minute, dude, what? What's our destination? Uh... Oopsies. Okay. Oh, okay, right, right, right. This is, uh, because the class trial's finished, I forgot. This is where the fifth floor is, uh... Can I just fast travel somewhere? How do I fast travel again? I don't think I can fast Oh, yeah, no, I can't. I can. Alright, so, last floor we left off was the fourth floor, I think. So, if that's not the case, then there has to be, like, a fifth floor, right? Good thing this math is coming in handy. Triangle, right? Yes, yeah, triangle button. Here it is! So, of course. So, here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been open to us, and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Alright, what do we have here? From what I'm seeing, there's not even a sixth floor. There's a fucking karate dojo? What the shit? Aw, oh, Sakura would have loved this. 
Oh man. Oh well. Let's see here. Filled with cherry blossoms. Uh, a samurai armor. A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Okay. All right, what do you got to see, Kira Giri? What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, the one. Yes, yes, we we know we know all about her. Watch out for her. This is the 16th student. Um, Kyoko. I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze started up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand, right? She's trying to tell me that whatever it is, it was important. The mastermind can't, couldn't figure it out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So We're finished here. Okay. It's just like usual, it didn't, I didn't understand anything better than before. Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious. That we're not allowed to go under surveillance, so yeah. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there is a cherry blossom tree planted here, and it's full bloom. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Eh, I mean, something to boost our morales up, why not? What I'm interesting is, what's with these target practice? Is this, uh, archery class? That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud for my of my eyesight. Okay. Oh yeah, presents, right, in case we want to uh, talk to people and shit. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Jesus fuck, I'm getting a lot of money from this room alone. Any in the locker? Can I get- yeah, I can, okay. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of a super old school public bathhouse. This is not a bathhouse, is it? Alright, uh, what button? Y, right, okay. Oh, not Y, uh, triangle, right, this is not Xbox. Although I kinda wish this was on Xbox. Uh, am I missing something? I think these cherry blossom trees are the same as the other ones, right? Hey. Yeah, yeah, Easy. it's the same, so it doesn't matter. Alright, done with the uh, dojo area. What else is there to explore? More classrooms, the pottery place, or the gardens, whatever it's called. It's a fifth floor with a lot of outdoor scenery, that's really I'm sure. And yet it's always enclosed in like black or blue outlined sky. We assume this is some sort of sky, but it doesn't seem like we can look at it from the outside. Anyways, that's a hero, what do you guys say? At first I thought I saw blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling. No. But, oh, the plants are all real. It's been a while since I smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why, is that bad? Hmm. Oh shit, did I? Oh fuck, did I accidentally read uh, Makoto's line in Yasuhiro's voice? Damn it. Alright. You don't get it! Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the end is nigh. they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action! Well? I'm serious! Uh, you do you, Yasuhiro. You do you. Hey, what the hell is this thing? That's some kind of control panel near or set near the wall. Hello, may I help you? Uh, yes, I would like a Chicken McNugget, please. Give me some damn Chicken Mc... Oh my god, I remember that, like, Super Saiyan bitch. <laughs> Super Saiyan, that, that's, that's what I'm gonna recall her, I guess. Um, does it control in the air conditioning? Oh, it's air conditioning. I thought it was some sort of menu for the... It's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls sprinkler, uh, sprinklers, uh, sprinklers, uh, sprinklers in the garden. Wow, I can't pronounce that word at all. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at. Oh, that's probably going to be a very important notice about the uh, scene of the crime. Probably the sprinkler, sprinkler, uh, sprinklers are there to like mop up the blood. Who knows? Every morning at 7:30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you want to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? 
Yep, you got it! It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get stretched, so watch yourself. <gasps> but you're not... But you're only not only the, a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyways. Yes. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone that you <laughs> Uh Smells like R. Kelly shit, bitch! Okay, uh, what the fuck is... Plants! Okay, let's... Or the warehouse, actually. Let's examine this warehouse. Just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. Alright, what could be inside? Uh, clippers. This place seems totally organized. Disorganized from a lawnmower to the fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Oh boy. Bunch of murder weapons here. We got a shovel, a pickaxe, a lawnmower. We could like probably mow someone down. No chainsaw, which is interesting. But everything else, a sickle even. Maybe some clippers. You could like cut someone's <laughs> legs off or something. Alright. Or a hoe. There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Hmm. Remember Minecraft, guys. Crazy diamond. Huh. There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. I'm kind of curious, actually. Uh, presents, is it? It could be related to uh, one of the members that recently, or not recently, but died in this uh, game. Proof that you've cleared Chapter 2. It's Mondo's old trench coat, which has the name of the country's greatest biker. Okay, doesn't really say much. Oh wait, no, Crazy Diamond! And that says Crazy Diamond too, right? Oh shit. This is, this is, uh... Fuck, what's his name again? Mondo's Pickaxe? Interesting. Some things are becoming more like a full circle. Who knows? There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually going to take care of the lawn? Oh, whatever. Free money. Why not? And last but not least, the pottery plants. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you can need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers and put it into my room. Is that all? Seems like that's it. We can't examine- Oh no, we can examine the fertilizer. Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Uh, I think these game this game is getting carried away with the free money here. Alright, I think that's it? Unless I could be wrong. Oh my god, that is a big ass flower up there. And that's definitely searchable, but let me try and examine this blue sky, or painted sky. Those aura nozzles. Those nozzles poking out. Are those the sprinklers? I mean, I don't see the sprinklers on the ground, so I'm assuming the sprinklers are on the top. Question is, how are they getting all the water here? I am curious. Like, how does p things go in and out of this? Uh, no, I, I know things can't go out, but how exactly does things go inside this despair school? Ooh, wh what is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> That's a Monokuma flower! I came up with the name myself! Try and touch it, and you're in sort of some real excitement! Your heart's all like, whoa, and that plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, lurk, I'm dead! In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvements after improvements and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy! Actually? By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Well. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of the healthy society! Not that I know anything about that myself! <laughs> Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. So, word of notice, don't touch that phallic thing. <laughs> it's gonna eat you. And knowing this is an anime, it's probably gonna rape you too. 
Uh, I think that's it. So... Uh, wait, what? Uh, okay, what about this thing? Is that a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Oh, we had to check inside the chicken coop. This place even has chickens. Huh. They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. Okay. Let's check out the chickens. It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. Did you examine every single fucking chicken? Alright, this is a fat one. It doesn't have, like, a second form, right? There's more dialogue, that's for sure, I'm sure. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure? Yes! Monokuma, I mean, fucking... Makoto! It's a fucking chicken. I'm not expecting to be fed, like, humans, is it? Dude, have you been watching a lot of horror movies or some shit? It's a chicken. It's not like enough... <sighs> okay, dude, that's enough. Yeah, step away from the chicken coop. Clearly, you're not prepared for this. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? There's exactly five of them here. Exactly? Hmm. Five. You know, the number that comes after four and before six. At least, in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. He's 30% right. It's a number of power. A refreshing number on par with the hand-squeezed, all-natural lemonade. He's never gonna let me get a word of edgewise. Yeah, okay, whatever. I think that's enough, right? Okay, that's enough for the chicken coop. What else is there? Classroom, classroom, and some sort of biology lab, I'm guessing. Or some sort of science. <gasps> Owie! What do you want? <laughs> I like how immediately I go after Owie as soon as I see her. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Alright. I don't think the classrooms really matter that much, but actually... There's... Yeah, it's just C. Okay, it's a C class. Alright, what about this... It looks like this long hallway... Is up to no good. Rattle, rattle! It's locked! We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says Biolab. A Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into. It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Uh, so is that it? Okay, if we're not allowed that time, then... Is that... That is everything, isn't it? And I don't see any more floors, so... Yeah, this is probably the last floor, therefore the last chapter? I don't know. What I do know is there's no sixth floor from my knowledge, so... It seemed like... Anything's... Let's check out the, ch the classrooms. Maybe something's different there. Oh, music stopped. What the fuck? The blood is actually red? Wait the fuck? Why the fuck is the blood pink beforehand then? Someone please explain that to me. Maybe it's going to be explained later on, but what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room stuck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled... It was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... <laughs> it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying? It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There's no surprise in his verse, voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced this smell before. More than once before. It's the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong. Condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Hey. What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me! If I hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened! No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yep! Let me give you an easy bitty easy squeegee little hint! As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing! I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed! How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs in those mean-looking RPGs! Oh. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. 
Of course, even the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day. So it's not really a big deal, so just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier! They're not gonna explain why this blood is red and the other blood is pink? Is there something wrong with my color saturation or something, or what? What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of this? Okay, well... This is... Quite fucked up indeed! Wait, that's impossible. If you left it the way it was, then how the fuck are there bolted windows? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, anyways. An eye for an eye. Or... Or the camera. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have, anyways? Uh, okay, I guess I get money for that, at least. I can't search with the eye for an eye? <sighs> if we listen to each other's love, you'll find that you never fall apart. Alright, there's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume their stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. Alright, what else is there? Uh, dead bodies. How many of them are there? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jesus, fuck. Eight dead bodies. And how many of us are there in total? Oops, not map. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 minus 8. So... <laughs> fuck, I really had to do the finger thing is. Uh, 14, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 7. We got 7 students left. This can't be a coincidence, can it? It has to somehow relate to the, uh... Dead students. I have to say, if someone dies again, and there happens to be another body t of tape, tape or whatever, then something's up. All right, what else am I looking at? Monitors. There's a door there. Do I honestly want to open it though? It's one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no. It's totally useless no matter what. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen their everything there is to see. Okay, so I guess we have to talk to him before we go inside that door, huh? Um, Byakuya, about what Monokuma just told us. It's like, I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is he just flat out ignoring me? Okay, now can we enter the door? Okay. We can't strike that thing. What am I missing? Anything in the ceiling? What the fuck? Okay, so I can't search for this eye for an eye thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do I have to talk to you again, dude? Okay. Did I examine this thing? There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I think this kind of thing old detective shows stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Okay, now can I go inside? Oh, that's leaving the area? Oh, whoops. Okay, I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I've found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others are turned up. Right after this break, stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned. I'm being repetitive and I just accidentally dropped my controller. Whoops. <laughs>